With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, a fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km with a speed of 720 km per hour passing directly overhead an aircraft gun. At what angle from the vertical should the gun be fired from the cell with muzzle speed of 600 m per second to hit plane? At what minimum altitude should the pilot fly the plane to avoid being hit? Take g is equal to 10 m per second square. Okay. Now in the given question we have been given that a fighter plane is flying horizontally at a height of 1.5 kilometers. 1.5 kilometers. So let us suppose this is our fighter plane flying at a height of 1.5 kilometers and traveling with a speed of how much? 720 kilometer per hour. Now it passes directly overhead of aircraft gun. Okay, now we have been asked that at what angle should this gun be fired from the vertical so that it hits the plane. Okay, now let us suppose that the bullet was fired, velocity of bullet is 600 meter per second and it is fired at an angle of theta with the vertical. Okay, now after time t, let us suppose that this bullet hits the plane at point L. Okay. So, to hit the plane, the distance traveled by the bullet should be equal to the distance traveled by the plane in this time period. So, the distance traveled by plane must be equal to the distance traveled by bullet. Correct. Now, the distance traveled by the plane will be velocity of plane into time t and it will be equal to the distance traveled by the bullet. So the distance it will travel by the bullet will be its horizontal component that is Vb sin theta. So it will be Vb sin theta into t. So from here sin theta comes out to be sin theta comes out to be velocity of plane upon velocity of bullet. Now velocity of plane is 720 km per hour or 720 into 5 by 18 meter per second divided by velocity of bullet is 600. Correct. So from here sin theta comes out to be 1 by 3 or theta will be sin inverse 1 by 3. So with an angle of sin inverse 1 by 3 the bullet must be fired from the muzzle so that it can hit the plane flying at a height of 1.5 kilometers. Okay. Now in the second part we have been asked that what will be the minimum altitude should the pilot fly the plane to avoid being hitting. So to avoid being hitting the plane should be at a height of or it must fly at a height above than the maximum height the bullet can attain. Correct. Now for the B part the maximum height the bullet can attain in this scenario will be given as u square sin square 90 minus theta divided by 2g correct or what we can say is the velocity of bullet whole square into cos square theta divided by 2g correct now how we find the cos theta now the sin theta is 1 by 3 so what we can say let us suppose a right angle triangle okay this angle is theta. So, sin theta is 1 by 3. Correct. So, it, the perpendicular will be 1 and the hypotenuse will be 3. Correct. So, from here using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find the base and the base will come out as 2 root 2. Okay. So, this will be 2 root 2. So, from here cos theta will be 2 root 2 upon 3 or cos square theta cos square theta will be 8 upon 9. Okay. Now substitute the respective values. So the maximum height the bullet can attain is velocity of bullet is 600 whole square into cos theta is 8 by 9 divided by 2 into 10. So from here h comes out to be 16,000 meters or we can say it as h is equals to 16 
kilometer so the bullet can attain maximum height of 16 kilometer so the plane must fly above 16 kilometer so that it doesn't get hit by the bullet so the minimum height the flight can achieve to uh, to avoid being hit by the bullet so it must fly with the height of 16 kilometers now choosing from the options what we say is option number first that is sine inverse 1 by 3 and 16 kilometer is our correct option okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today